smears. Oops. Mm. Hello. Hello, welcome to Ask Miss Mears. Hello. <laughs> Hang on, intro with that. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Ask Miss Mears, where we answer your most burning questions and solve your most nagging problems. I may not know all the answers, but I'll know someone who will. Today's problem is universal. We're all in the worst situation possible, and we want to know how to find, make, keep, save, and grow money given our very debilitating circumstances. The solution will come from today's guest, best-selling author, financial planner, and advisor, stock trader, international keynote speaker, and YouTube sensation, Marvin Germo. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. YouTube, YouTube sensation talaga no naman. Uh, Hindi ba? Well, for me, sensation na yun. For me na nagsistart pa lang. <laughs> How many uh, YouTube videos do you have so far? Uh, dami. One, one five, I think. One five. It's, it's, 1,500. Yeah. And how? when did you start? Uh, 2018. 2018. Oh my gosh. That's daily. Uh, yeah, daily. But ano lang yun, uh, it used to be kasi I would put all of my TV interviews there. So mga early 2011, every time I would get interviewed, uh, parang para you have memories, you have a repository of where you get your, right, you, put, right. you, uh, you put your interviews. So I would get them, then upload them in my YouTube channel. And then uh, 2016 yata, there wa Facebook Facebook started doing Facebook Live. So oh. I would do a, I would do a lot of Facebook Live. Then after doing Facebook Live, I'd take the video also and upload it. But yun lang. Then then I really just started posting uh, videos in YouTube intentionally just 2018. So that's where it, that's where it started. But my gosh, I was watching and so inspiring talaga. Parang <laughs> anything is possible. I saw the from 5,000 to 50,000 and then you had an Excel sheet ah. and you computed it. So I look back on my life and my gosh, all those shoes that I bought, sana... <laughs> oh, okay lang. Oh, 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 lang <laughs> I, I, I think okay lang naman kasi you can buy that shoes pero mayaman ka pa rin eh. So that, it really didn't affect you. It really affect you. <laughs> I'm sure uh, as you probably realize it's not how much you make but how much you save and how much you can make it grow. So in mm. our situation now, what are like the most urgent things we should do? I mean, it's over 100 days of lockdown. I'm sure kung yung gastos man sa going out, nawala, pero napunta lahat sa groceries or sa kuryente. Mm. What's mm. like the top three things you think for our financial health? Ano ang pinaka-urgent na gawin? I, I, I think, no, uh, number one, uh, people should, should assess first where they are. Uh, financially, meaning they should check may utang ba ako ngayon or uh, do I have 
do I have enough cash that's coming in to take care of my expenses? Or do I have already extra that even though there's a pandemic, I can take advantage of opportunity? So they have to assess first uh, where, where they are without knowing that it will be harder to craft a plan eh, on how they spend, how they invest. So it has to right. start it has to start from uh, from that. And that's why people need to really know uh, what their numbers are. And a lot of people are, ano, ayaw, ayaw nila gawin kasi masyado yeah. madaming ma- masyado madaming mat or, 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 things, or things like that. But uh, I think that's the, w- one of the most important thing. They need to uh, know where they are because they if they don't know if they're in debt, it would be harder also to gasos ka lang ng gasos, swipe ka lang ng swipe sa credit card kasi kala mo, uh, kala mo okay Oo, ka pa. Oo, ang dali pa naman ngayon mag ano, transfer ng money, mag Gcash. Mm. Mm. And I think there's nothing wrong with that as long as you know how you know uh, what's coming in and what's coming out because it makes it more convenient. But uh, the problem is with a lot of people, the more convenient it is also, uh, they go to the other side where they spend more because it's so it's so convenient. So, ano, so bayaran mo na lahat ng utang. What if may mga utang na negotiable, right? Like some landlords medyo may reprieve or... Anong dapat gawin when it comes to the debt that we're in? Mm, if, it, if you're talking about debt for a housing loan or just your plain rent? Or any kind of debt, right? Ano yung... uh, uh, okay. Uh, of course, if it's uh, if it's something that's high interest, they, it would be better if they pay that uh, out first. But I think uh, because what we're stepping into now is something that's very, very new. A lot of these people that have lent money are also, I think they're more reasonable. It's much madaling makiusap ngayon because everyone uh-huh. knows that uh, we're all going through the same thing. And if I'm, right. a lend- if I'm a lender also, it would be better for me to negotiate kahit mas delayed yung payment, mas mababa yung rate, kesa hindi ako mabayaran totally kasi you don't want that person naman uh, to, be, to suffer financially because if they suffer financially, then uh, mas malaki yung chance na baka hindi mabayaran yung boom yung principal. So, I think this is the time where if you don't think you can't pay, uh, you, you you negotiate with uh, with people that let money to you regardless if it's a bank, your relative, your friend, or it's for a business loan. So, at least it allows you to have the wiggle room also to be flexible. Uh, so, there. And then, kung talagang kailangan mo bayaran yun, you, you, you find ways on how you can pay off that debt by raising cash, raising capital to be able to uh, recover it or take care of it. Right. And then what's the next step? For uh okay. So if you're you you have to check first, no, I said it depends it depends on the gravity of your debt. It depends on how how, how big it is. Cause there are some debts that uh are debts for an asset, meaning you bought uh you bought a house. So as long as nababayaran mo naman yung amortization non regularly, you don't have to pay that off. But what I'm talking about is uh, debt that's not for an asset like credit card debt, right. your, per- your personal loans. That one, right. uh, you, you try as much as possible to stick to the plan if it's a monthly plan that you're paying, right. or it's some um, it's something that really consumes you. Na yung hindi yung binabayaran mo lang yung minimum sa credit card. Because if you do that, that it becomes deadlier. Uh, the the interest rate becomes bigger. So until na bayaran mo required for you to to stabilize your rates down, you you pay that amount. So something like that. Right. And then after we've like confronted the debt, what's the next step? Okay. Uh, be- I'll backtrack first. So before before confronting the debt, you need to know what your cash is. You need to know what your cash position is. So uh, by the time I'm paying off the debt also, I should have had my budget prepared already. I know uh, what are the items that I would label as a need. I would label the items that I think is a want. So right. that if, if I need to belt tighten, I I would... I, could remove the things that are written out as wants. Or for example, uh, dati nagsa Starbucks ako uh, every day. So ngayon talaga wala, wala ay walang pumapasok or, uh, or projects have slowed down. I'll probably remove all of that. And then since you can live, you can live naman without Starbucks just by, uh, just by drip coffee at home. So you're still having your coffee, but it becomes a, a cheaper alternative. So I, I think that's how I'll that's how I'll probably do it. I'll assess how much money uh, is is coming in also, and if kulang nag negative ako, I'll strip off all of the ones there. So even if even if wala kang utang, pero your your cash flow negative, meaning mas madami yung gastos mo than uh, sa pumapasok, 
I, you have to make some adjustments also you need to simplify your you need to simplify your life until it comes to a point you become uh cash flow positive tapos if you're if you are cash flow positive already pero wala ka pang savings ako personally if i was at that position i would try to i would try to lessen my expenses still until it comes to a point that i have i have money also coming in that will allow me to save so because I, I think the biggest problem of Filipinos, but not just Filipinos, this is uh, people around the world, especially in the States, uh, they don't have a lot of savings. So yeah. if if things like this will happen, na wala ng trabaho, may uncertainty, things that uh, will will disrupt their income, uh, they, wala silang pang salo. So uh, when times are good, kasi people don't like to save. Eh. Parang, right. ba ako, ba ako magsasave? Eh? May yung gusto kong bilhin na laptop nandyan or yung yung bago kong item na gusto bilhin naka-sale ngayon and you think uh you think that the show won't end that you think that this uh this level of income won't end but there are times like this where uh things that people <laughs> no one could have projected this and no one could right. have uh, anticipated this but you know if you don't have if you don't have a buffer you don't have a level of savings uh Mahirap eh. Either w- wala, wala kang panggastos ngayon or uh, y- yung peace of mind thinking about saan papa- san, san kukunin yung pambayad ko ng rent next month because wala, walang savings. So I, 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 I think if there's one thing that this has taught everyone is either they, they need to save or if they're saving, they're not saving enough. So before people go into business, before people go uh, invest, I, I would always tell people make that make your stockpile of savings bigger right e, paano kung wala ngang savings and you're in this situation and then wala ngang diba like freelancers now have a hard time working people in certain industries like live events industry creative industries mm-hmm. biglang wala and people and companies are laying off what's mm-hmm. like those urgent emergency way you can manage to cope if wala kang savings i i try to raise cash uh, that's the that's the best that's the best way to put it try to find ways to raise cash whether it be finding stuff at home that you need to sell right uh, so, so that at least you have cash meaning uh it and it's easier now because there's so many I, either you sell it via an app or you just post it on facebook or you just post it in a viber group or in a facebook community or or a group in Facebook, uh, you'll be able to you'll be able to sell you'll be able to sell it already. So, you think about what are the things that you don't need because there might be other people that may need or want that item. So, baka may second TV ka na hindi mo kailangan or baka uh, nagko-collect ka ng rubber shoes tapos yung pang 11 mo tsaka pang 10 mo, benta mo na yun kasi hindi ka, hindi ka rin naman makakalabas, hindi ka rin naman makakalabas eh. So, that's the first thing that I will look at because those are things na, ano eh, uh, if it's there lang, it's rotting. It's not really creating right. value. It's right. really not creating value to you. So I'll do that first. Then second is, uh, I'll, I'll look at what's what What do I have? Uh, ev- everything that you need to know to be able to make money for you is already in, it's it's in what you have. Eh. So look at, uh, ano skills mo? San ka magaling? Kasi you, the only way for you to make money also, uh, it will go back to what, what your skill sets are. So if you're, if you're good at a certain skill, regardless if it's a service or you selling a product, uh, you double down on that. Because it doesn't make sense for me. It doesn't make sense trying to venture into a new thing in this pandemic, and then you don't have any experience and skill there. You can do that if uh, you already have something going on for you, so that you don't. It's it's harder to gamble. Eh. Uh, I would tell people that you you start trying other things as long as you got your baselines covered pag hindi mo cover yun your your the first thing that you need to do first is to uh, cover all you need to cover the basics meaning kung may kung may anak ka may pang uh, may pang gata siya may pang pampers siya kung uh, kung family kayo may pambayad kayo ng meralco so when that's covered and then you have extra time pa that's where you start exploring so you rely on like the tried and tested skills that you have what are some of the skills that may have not occurred to people that they can actually monetize pala like from in your experience no it's it's a anyway, it's uh we all have different experiences we all have different skills so there might be someone who's an accountant that based on her job 
or her, his job as an accountant, uh, madami siya na pagdaanan doon that he, he might, kasi business is ano eh, business is looking at a need and trying to solve it or address it. So they have to look at, based on my experience as an accountant or as an engineer or as a marketer or as a, as a salesperson, what is a pain point, what is a problem that I need to solve or that needs solving na pwede kong, na pwede kong gawin. So, I'll, I'll give you an example. There are a lot of people naman, the, the skill is there already, you just have to, just have to pivot it. May mga tao, you said, uh, the events industry ha, have, they've been hit. So, for example, host ka sa event, and nagpipivot din naman yung event sa mga online events. So, right, I've, right. I've, I've, seen, I've seen a lot of hosts for uh, live events go and pivot online. So, Ganun lang. Some, for some, it will just be tweaking it to what's relevant for today. I, I've seen people who have been creating suits for weddings, conventions, etc. Since wala, hang, wala ngayon yun, they've, pivot, they've pivoted PPEs yung ginagawa nila or face mask yung ginagawa nila. So you always go back to what what you know. You always go back to uh, what 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 you're good at. Kasi the, the tendency is a lot of people want to look at, ay hindi, okay tong ano, uh, Okay magbenta ng shomai ngayon kasi lahat ng tao nasa bahay eh, kung hindi ka naman, kung kung hindi ka naman magaling sa shomai, 'di ba? There's there's a need for shomai pero kung hindi ka naman magaling doon, sino bibili sa iyo? Kung hindi ka naman magaling doon, there are other people who have done it already that have a uh, that have a market that know how to do it, how to make it efficiently and you will you will be beaten there. Pero kung alam na alam mo 'yun and then you're gonna double down on it. There's a fighting. There's a fighting chance that you can also grab a market share because people won't buy for, won't buy something that they don't like. Eh. People won't buy something that uh, if there's a better product or service na halos kasi impression yun. Dun ako pupu- dun ako So something like that. Right. What about the stock market, which is your expertise? Kumo sa yung uh, situation ngayon ng stock market, and is it something that should take advantage of or stay away from, or what is the current climate? Uh, I, I always tell this to a lot of people. The best time to invest is now, regardless of what the situation is. So, uh, the the stock market dropped in March. It's higher. It's higher now. Pero here here's the thing: uh, investing in the stock market is always based on skill. So, if you're just starting now, or if you have not started yet, start now. Because you can't really expect naman to get those to get. Uh, returns kagad if you're starting it for it's your first month, it's your three month, it's your third month. You always look at it as parang, uh, what's a good example? The way you treat your job or the way you treat your business is the same way you treat investing. Meaning, kung uh, you mentioned to me that you were in you were you were in publishing for like uh, for for quite some for quite yes, some time. Yes, twenty five so, years in publishing, and okay. the result is a whole lot of shoes. <laughs> so, so so yun that's what i wanted to say your your skills in year 1 is different from from your skills when you right, are year right. 10 year 15 year 20 so ganun din sa ganun din sa stock market it's the opportunity is always there eh. parang franchising the opportunity is always there parang uh, mag-start ka ng sarili mong consultancy the opportunity is always there pero do you have uh, the skills for it the problem with uh, with a lot of people is they're not starting and then when they do start they think parang lotto siya lagay ako pera diyan na hopefully yung 100,000 ko maging 1 million kasi nag nag-invest ako but it doesn't work that way kasi if it was like that then all of us would be as rich as you and hindi hindi ganoon eh so no, baka it, it, as rich as you no. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of as rich as you how did you get started in the stock market some ba- a backgrounder lang no konting kwentong buhay marvin um, <laughs> maybe you can talk about how you built your fortune from no, the very no, start no, no. <laughs> Grab it. Uh, when i was you know when i was starting out uh early 20s i was i was also working uh in corporate i was doing it tapos while i was doing it i i figured it out that if i will rely on my salary then i will rely on being promoted kahit ako yung best rating and i get promoted every year it's still very far from where i want to be so what I did was, uh, while I was working, I would do other things that will generate me income while I was working. Tapos, while I was doing that also, uh, whatever I was earning from that, I made sure that sa salary ko, uh, kasha na pang expenses ko. Tapos, right. everything, everything that I would get on top of my salary, 
di ko ginagastos. I would just let it roll over and roll over and roll over and roll over. And then either inv- put it in another business or reinvest it. Then I tried, uh, here, here's the thing, no? People, pe- people know me as a stock market guy, but I'm also very entrepreneurial. And I also invest in, lahat ng investments na pwede, sinubukan ko din sila lahat. So up until now also, lahat ng mga investments yun, I'm, I'm also investing in it. Uh, so my, my technique is you try everything and then the one that you like the most, the one that you understand the most, you double down on it. That's why I would always tell people there's no such thing as the best investment because I've seen people that are so good in real estate whenever they would discuss their strategy to me. Hindi ko maintindihan. I, I, sabi ko, ano yan, sobrang risky yan. But to them, it makes sense kasi yun yung, yun yung, alam, yun yung alam nila. So for me, nagkataon lang when I started uh, dabbling into different things, I invested in mutual funds. Then as I started investing in mutual funds, yung mutual funds na yun, uh, binantay ako siya araw-araw. Sabi ko, if I'm watching my mutual funds every day, uh, might as well try the stock market. And then, yun, that's been more than a decade now. And then the rest is the rest is history. So, yeah. We have a question here from uh, Ms. Aika Serafika. If you're in your 50s, can you still try to start investing in the stock market or where can you invest safely and securely that would you that would give a good return given her age mm, that's, that's a that's a very good question uh, of course uh, people have to consider this if you're 50 years old people always set 60 as retirement eh? but here's what people need to understand if you're 50 and you live until 85 or 90 that means that you need to have money that when you are 70 years old may pumapasok pa rin so my my mentality behind this is i'm investing for i'm investing at 50 so that yung pe, so that meron akong kukunin ng 70 years old ako ng 80 years old ako and i'll make it very very simple to everyone i started investing in my early 20s sa market and my mentality at that time was Yung pera na to, pang 60 years old ko na pera. And uh, like what we're like what we're going on, like what's going on right now, I would always I would always tell people that recessions are cyclical. This is something that uh everyone knows would happen, but they just don't know na mang- kung kailan siya mangyayari. So so my mentality when I was starting out was sige, uh pag 20 ako mag-invest, kung nagkaroon ng recession at 36 years old, eh, kailangan ko naman yung pera ng 60, should I panic? Parang hindi naman, kasi kailangan ko yung pera ng 60 years old. Eh. So, ganun din magiging approach ko. If I will be in my 50s and I want to invest, what I'll do is, whatever I'm investing for my 50s, it will be money for for the time that I'm 65, 70, uh, 75 years old. It won't be money that I will touch for 52 or 53. So that uh, the power of investing is it should be money that you're not willing to touch for a very, very long time. And it should be money that uh, hindi mo kailangan. It's disposable that if there's volatility like what we're experiencing over the past few months, uh, you can sleep set, uh, soundly at night. So for me, uh, it, Aika, it's really number one properly diversifying your money, meaning you need to have money for the short term, money that you need right now, and then money for the long term that you can you can take a portion of risk also for it. So uh, 50, I think, is very, very young. Uh, and then it what I don't suggest is you put everything in the stock market, especially uh, if the skill is also not there. So you people people should take it I, I think step by step, meaning uh, check first. Okay, I'll start with 10,000 pesos. Kaya ko ba yung 10,000? Bumaba siya ng 10%. Oh, I lost 1,000. Can I sleep uh, soundly at night? If bumaba siya ng 1,000 and then you cannot sleep soundly at night, better not put uh, more money anymore. But when you put 10,000, parang kaya ko pala. 1,000 decline, 10% decline, kaya ko. I'll put 10,000 more. Then you just gradually increase it uh, b- based on the amount that you can tolerate. So that's that's my take on it. Pero please, please, please. I've I've seen this so many times. A lot of people after watching videos like this, they inspire sila kagad and then they start investing. The stock market is not as hard as what most people think it is. Pero it's not as easy also that you come in hoping na kikita ka ng pera. So there has to be a sweet spot that uh, you're not too intimidated about it. But the sweet spot is also you have to take the time to learn what it is also. And what's the best way to do that? Like me, for so many years, uh, I even had an ex na stock broker. Lumilipad lang over my head yung stock market. Uh, 
ano, terminology, jargon. What's the best way, if you're intimidated, what's the best way to learn? Eh, kaso, hindi mo na kailangan, sobrang yaman mo na eh. So, ano ka ba? You don't, need, you don't need to invest in stocks. Para lang isang mga common na tao na may mga pangarap sa buhay. Kaya ikaw naman. yung guest kasi nga, puro sapatos yung binile, walang iba. <laughs> uh, uh, what, what, the biggest advantage right now is everything is uh, here from your phone. Right. Meaning, meaning, you can Google it or you can watch videos on YouTube about it and then whatever yung hindi mo maintindihan, you can just search it eh. Uh, what is this term? And then type it. What is an IPO? What is a board lot? What is a common share? What is a preferred share? Then lalabas na lahat yun. All of those things were not available 30 years ago eh. Uh, even when I even when I started more than a decade ago, uh, the there was no YouTube yet before. You my YouTube puro mga dog videos lang yata uh, dati. So uh, now the vastness of information, it's it's just really taking the time to study. So the amount of time na dati po punta ka sa library to do the research ngayon, uh, anyone can anyone can do it. So uh, just search whatever whatever term you want to get, and then. Yeah. Uh, it, it it will come out Google or YouTube. Everything's there. And there's a lot of videos, Ren, that you have uh, posted, right? That explain it. Not to mention how many books have you written? Three or four or five? Uh, f- five books. <laughs> five books. Yeah. Uh-huh. Five books. Yeah. Because yeah. Mar- Marvin's goal is uh, to give every Filipino financial freedom. Can you talk more about that goal of yours? Napaka generous naman. That's the goal. Uh, when, which ever, when I was younger, that's parang a very, very, uh, no, no, a very grand goal. Kasi, uh, just, just so you know, when I start, when I started out, uh, syempre, I was, I was employed at that time and um, my, my office mates nagugulat sa akin kasi uh, six months pa lang ako, fresh grad pa, fresh grad pa lang ako noon. Lahat, uh, hindi ako sumasama, magsa-Starbucks sila ng uh, merienda time. Nakilang mention, mention ako ng Starbucks. Na, <laughs> no, mag, magsa-Starbucks sila or they would go out uh, for lunch. Ako, I would always eat my baon. Tapos, at that time, that was the golden era of, ano, nagsa-start yung piece of fare at that time. So, a, a lot of them... Uh, Ganun then would go on those piece of fares. Nagulat sila ako, hindi ako sumasama. Then, six months along the the line, parang they would be shocked na sila five years na dun, tapos ako mas madami akong ipon na sa kanila. So, there would be some of them that would would invite me for lunch. Marvin, uh, paano mo ginagawa yan? Uh, can you teach me how you do your savings, how you do your budgeting, bakit di ka natitemp, what's the mindset behind it? Because, because they would always see me, like clockwork yan. Uh, every time na may salary ako, I would withdraw everything. Titira ko lang yung two, two, two weeks, eh. two weeks yung salary. Titira ko lang yung kailangan ko for two weeks. Then there would be a certain portion I would deposit in a passbook and I would never touch. I would never touch it. So nagugulat, nagulat sila. So when they would invite me for lunch, syempre ako, tuwa-tuwa ako doon kasi nakatipid ako ng lunch. So ano, uh, savings again for me yun. But uh, when, when they would invite me for lunch at that time, uh, while well, I was explaining stuff to them and I would... Uh, talk about finances to them. Parang it felt good eh. Parang I, I enjoyed doing it. So I realized also that, uh, ano, it's it's nice to save and invest for yourself, but it, it's much more fulfilling when you bring others along along the ride. So, uh, this and, and, and I say this in all honesty, uh, at that time, 2007, no one knew my name. Ngayon, May mga, may mga live videos, may YouTube, may books, may mga newspapers, etc. Pero uh, meeting that one person, teaching them about finances versus speaking in front of large crowds, it's still the same feeling for me. Kasi uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing this for uh, to get my name known. I'm just doing it because it's funny. It's, it's nice to have something that alam mo parang there's this whole term about ano ambag mo na parang may naambag ka sa tao. <laughs> so uh, ako yun yung Hindi ako, I would always tell people this, hindi ako, sa sobrang, in our era right now, what's relevant is a doctor, frontliner, etc. Hindi ako ganun, pero yung ambag ko lang is, at least uh, 40, 50, 60 years from now, uh, there's an impact, there's a new generation of people that their finances are better. So yun yung nagpapasaya, yun yung nagpapasaya sa akin. And, and that's why I do what I do also. Or if there's something we can learn from you, it's parang when I learned about your life story nga. Grabe yung focus mo at an early age. Uh, this is because 
your dad had a failed business, right? He retired from corporate life and then he put up a gas station, am I right? And then it didn't work out so well. And then you said, Pag ako nagka business, I will do it in my 20s and not in my 50s. Para there's like leeway to fail, right? And you were so focused on saving that you already saved up for your wedding in your 20s. Bago magka bride, bago magka girlfriend. Kapag ano na niya yung wedding. Bakit ganun na lang yung focus mo? And where do you get that discipline and determination? Maybe you, it can rub off on all of us. You ano ah, you tagal na na, that was the voice, I think that's for voice I thought of. Yes! Few, 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 few months ago pa yun. A uh, couple of things, no? It looks, it looks really, really uh, exciting to talk about right now. Pero at that time, Nakakainggit din naman eh to see your friends sa Starbucks tapos hindi ka sumasama to see them nagpapalawan sila pero hindi hindi ka hindi ka sumasama tapos aya sila ng aya tapos lahat sila nakita mo buwibili sila ng bagong Sony na na 3 3 uh, me, uh, 3 megapixel na camera at that time <laughs> tapos tapos ikaw hindi ka hindi ka nakakabili uh, it at that time parang syempre na na yung parang ako rin naman pinagtrabahuan ko rin to I, I, I deserve it also but uh, that's where creating financial goals are so important. Meaning, at that time, inisip ko, pag binili ko tong camera na to, binili ko tong uh, uh, 3 megapixel na camera, <laughs> na, natatawa na yung mata sa 3 megapixel. Na obsolete na lahat. <laughs> uh, uh, pag binili ko tong 3 megapixel na to, how long will it delay me from the goals that I want? Or, the way I would think it think about it also, for example, tanda ko pa yun, yung camera binili ng friend ko, 20,000 yun, na, uh, na 3 megapixel. If I spend this 20,000, uh, this 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 for this camera. Uh, for example, uh, I, I think my salary when I started that was sixteen thousand five hundred. So I would I would think na teka, this is even more than my one month salary. Is it actually worth? Is it actually worth that? Nutri na ba ako sa office? Yung yung pagod, yung puyat, uh, yung yung pag travel, uh, yung pinagalitan ka ng boss mo. Is that worth this camera? Tapos when you buy that camera at twenty thousand, for sure the value is already lesser because it, it's something that would uh, that would depreciate. So that was my mentality. My mentality was, mabibili ko rin naman yun eh. Hindi lang hindi lang ngayon. So unahin ko na muna yung pangarap ko kasi pag nakuha ko yung pangarap ko, mabibili ko rin yung iba kong uh, yung iba, iba bagay na kailangan ko. And 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 dami, there's so much that I'd like to share. No, that uh, my my focus kasi was ano eh. Uh, that's why also I. When that's why I'm doing what I'm doing because, uh, we, th- I I think there's there needs to be an emphasis that people should find out what they love to do, right? Because w- when you find out what you love to do, you don't need to buy stuff to make you happy, right? So so that th- buying that stuff, uh, syempre, it makes you for- more comfortable because you can get the good pictures, ganun, uh, or getting that big TV, that large, uh, that that bigger car. Pero you buy it as a tool, you don't buy it to make you happy. People sometimes buy stuff as an escape because they don't like their job. So, sa akin, ha, if you have a choice, 150,000, 100,000, 150,000, trabaho hindi mo gusto, 100,000, trabaho gusto mo, doon ka na sa 100,000. Because believe me, you will save a lot of money because you don't need to go on an expensive vacation kasi you don't have to escape something. To counteract the stress. Yeah, so, yun. Also, uh, speaking of entry level, uh, young people, right? What entry level investment do you recommend for people who are still glued to their day jobs? Like maybe they want to leave, but they just can't yet. What's the best way to get our feet wet? Mm, okay, that's a very, very good question. Uh, two things, Muna, based on what you said. No, uh, Number one, uh, Ako, I would generally tell people, you invest, but you don't invest first to leave your job. Because the name of the game is multiple streams of income. Eh. People always think na mag invest ako para makalis ako sa trabaho. Don't do that. Because if you if you invest and then you leave your job, then instead of having two, it becomes one again. So try to stockpile that, create as much streams of income for you. Umalis ka na lang sa trabaho mo, pagsagabal na yung trabaho mo sa investments mo or sa negosyo mo. Pero pag, 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 pag wala pa sa point na yun, don't leave your job. Don't leave your job yet. Number two, uh, I can only share from my experience. No, I'll I, I'll tell people this. Uh, try everything, but put a minimum amount to everything also. And most investments, except for I guess real estate or some brick and mortar uh, na businesses, 
Uh, some of them, 500 pesos, 1,000 pesos, 10,000 pesos, you can already start. Eh. So uh, uh, a lot of the financial institutions have made investing uh, cheaper and available for everyone right now that you don't have, you don't need to have a large amount of money. And the reason why I say you try everything is because, number one, it's a skills game. Eh. If you try, for example, uh, kunyar, like time deposits ka for five years, and then you will say, on year number six, I'll try mutual funds. Or year number seven, I'll try bonds. Year number eight, I'll try stocks. Yung five years sana na yun where you could have uh, built the acumen, the experience uh, to learn more about stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or whatever investment out there. Hindi mo nakuha yun. So I'd, I'd rather start small, trying everything. And then parang nakita mo, hindi yata sa akin yung stocks. Ah. Parang mas okay sa akin starting my own business. Alam mo na. And you can double down on what you're already good at. Right. Uh, Raymond Isaac has a question. If you're not young anymore, sino kaya ang tinutukoy niya? How do I invest when my age is nearing retirement na? Kind of similar to ICAS, but maybe for even older. Okay. Uh, pero you, you, did, you didn't read what he said earlier. Sabi niya, you're looking good daw. So that's a more ah, important okay. comment. Hindi <laughs> <a more>, <laughs> highlight. <laughs> it's, a more, it's a more important comment. Anyways, same, same, same approach pa rin. Uh, if you're kunyari, 55, you, al you always have to assume that you will live until 80. You will live until 85. So you always have to be looking at the long long term. It probably means that if wala ka pang masyadong naipon ngayon, it, means, it most likely means that pag 60 ka, you will still have to work. Kasi better that you work at 61, 62, 63 kasi hindi mo na magagawa yun ng 84, hindi mo na magagawa yun ng 77. So if you think... Uh, wala pa, kulang pa yung investments mo. I will work as hard as I can, even if I'm 55 right now, so that pag nag-72 years old ako, hindi ako magiging pabigat sa anak ko, hindi ako magiging pabigat uh, sa, sa uh, other other relatives that I that I have. So so there. For me, uh, it's, not, it's not about where you invest it, but it's more about the volume of the money that you have uh, set aside already. Kasi, for example, you invest 50,000 in the stock market Ako, I'd rather have 5 million in time deposits than 50,000 in the stock market. So what what you can do is you have to re, you have to assess magkano kailangan mo uh, to survive. If you for, I'll give an example. For example, kailangan mo to survive is 1,000 pesos a month. 1,000 pesos a month is 12,000 pesos a year. So you have to figure out how do I get that 12,000 pesos a year even though I'm 60 years old, even though I'm 65 years old, even though I'm 70 years old. How how is that possible? Dapat pag 70 ako, yung 12,000 a year na yun will come from passive sources already. Dapat galing na sa assets yun. Uh, pag uh, habang bata ako, it can still be a combination that I can still work naman para mapalitan yung 12,000. So ako, that's how I do it. It's a combination of active income uh, while you're still younger, then transitioning to until it comes to a point na 65 ka na, 70 ka na, wala, hindi ka na talaga makakatrabaho ng ganun kalakas, na dapat by that time, uh, it's either your savings, your investments, or your assets na yung nagbibigay sa'yo ng 12,000 a year. Can you give us a clue of uh, the variety or diversity and scope of your portfolio? Like, what kinds of uh, investments do you have? And mm. what's like... Uh, I, 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 I'm a... Competition. <laughs> I'm an entrepreneurial type of person. So, even yung investments ko... Uh, connected in something that I can analyze as a business. That's why I'm heavy into stocks. I'm heavy into bonds. I'm heavy so stocks also. It can be segmented into uh, preferred shares. And then th that's why I said also you double down on what on what you know. Because si since alam ko stocks, alam ko businesses, I also invest in U.S. stocks as well. So it's it's a different banana, but the analysis is also the same. So ganun lang. I, that's why you don't see me uh, in uh, trade the forex market. I I've, I've invested in cryptocurrencies, but it's a very very small amount. I've invested in commodities, but it's a very very small um amount because that's not what I'm uh I'm I'm good at. Then uh ganun din sa businesses. Uh, I like investing in startups because business din naman siya. The same way I analyze stocks is the same way I analyze also some companies kung okay siya o hindi. So so ganun lang. Uh. Tapos the rest cash na. We have uh, prop real estate also, pero it's not, for me, it's considered to me an asset if it has the potential for me uh, to generate income. If it's if I'm not getting anything from it, 
then it's an asset, pero it's not something that's producing. So real estate, uh, I have, pero uh, as of this point, hindi ko, hindi ko siya, hindi, hindi, hindi ko nararamdaman yung kita. <laughs> kita from it. So everything na you bring out should be earning on its own also not for you. Uh, not not essentially earning, but at least have the potential. For example, you invest in a business and nagsisimula pa lang siya pwedeng sa first year or second year, wala kang makukuha. Pero suddenly, on the third year, biglang the business starts booming already. Okay lang yun. So for me, okay lang na hindi siya kumita agad, pero may potential siya na kumita. Right. So after five years sa IT, you decided to leave. And then, the like, full time kind of in investing and in stock market. Is that what happened? Uh, mm, or, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and at what point did you decide na okay, I can quit my job? I'm I guess. Sure. Uh, you you compute. I computed how much am I spending. Then I also computed how much is my savings. That, for example, as in walang pumasok investments, businesses zero. Uh, how how many years will I last? Something like that. So, parang g- people can also reflect in this situation that uh, kung wala talaga pumasok sa negosyo nyo at this time, how long will you last? So, I I, I did that also. Uh, that was one. How much how much of a cash buffer did I have? Did I have at that time? Uh, factoring in my cost of living, that kung walang pumasok kung uh, uh, pangit yung investments ko maling decision yung investments ko mali mali yung naging business mali yung naging businesses ko kasi people need to remember this uh, majority of the people think also pag nagnegosyo ka that's the end goal what people don't what people don't consider pag nagnegosyo ka that's the start of even bigger headaches kasi mas malaki yung risk ng negosyo mas malaki yung risk ng investments so uh, they also need to know aside from the cash that they have uh, the, the Yung business ba nila, yung investments ba nila, does it already have the potential uh, to earn? Kasi if it if there's no potential yet, there's no track record yet, they have not seen it uh, do what it's supposed to do, then it might not be also the time to uh, to quit their job. So ako, yun yung at least two things. Number one, how much cash do they have uh, to to protect or hedge themselves? Then num- number two, uh, yun, uh, whatever they're investing in or whatever their business is, does it have the potential to also earn as well? Right. So is it true that you're retired at the age of 36? I don't I don't actually believe in annoying. I don't actually believe in that that word. Uh I I I always tell people it it's always predicated on number one, uh how much are you spending? And as long as what's coming in can replace that it's okay eh, that you get to do what what you want. I think a bigger discussion should be then focusing on retirement should be uh, do you have inflow that will take care of your cost of living? Kasi iba iba tayo ng cost of living. You have other people na glamoroso yung buhay. They need this, they need, they need this much to be able to uh, live a comfortable life per month. Other people, they need 50,000. Other people, they need 20,000. So uh, it's that's why it's called personal finance because it's it's personal. So, sa akin kasi, hindi glamoro sa buhay ko. I, I, you, wala akong planong bumili ng Ferrari, wala akong planong bumili ng uh, yacht. Lahat ng mga binibili ni Tony Tony, hindi ko binibili yung mga, yung mga, yung mga, yung, yung, mga, yung mga ganun. I, I, I don't have that. So, uh, yung only luho ko lang is, we, I, we just love to eat, uh, mahilig ako sa coffee, uh, the occasional travels, pero, uh, other things, I, well, wala. I, I, uh, I don't, I barely buy stuff sa mga mahal na, na brands. Pero I don't also buy naman na feeling ko, tinitipid ko sarili ko. There's a sweet spot also that I'm buying something that I can afford, but there's also a sweet spot that I'm not buying something just because, uh, ano, ah, pag, pag binili ko tong pag binili ko tong polo shirt na to, mas magmumuha ako mayaman. I, hindi, hindi, hindi naman ganun. So, I, I think people need to focus, it goes back to what I said at the start, people need to focus on the numbers. They need to know what's a comfortable lifestyle for them based on what they're spending and they just go back how much do i need to earn to be able to get that that's it so ngayon nakakapag starbucks ka na obviously na 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 sobra na wala ba yun nawawala ba yun kasi like even me ngayon i think inherently kuripot pa rin ako but for you na parang millions na or billions ay so sobra 
I can neither when, confirm nor deny that statement. <laughs> or for parang your standards of living comfortably have probably uh, come up a certain level, right? But sa mga Pinoy, ano yung sana, sana all na wish mo na they would reconsider. Like, we're always keeping up with the Joneses. We're always comparing Instagram. Mm-hmm. Di ba? We're always, as you said, seeking e- external trappings in order to belong or in order to feel better about ourselves. So what's like your wish for them to reconsider about materialistic accumulation? I'll, I'll, I'll balance it lang also, no? Uh, hindi naman masama bumili ng ganun kung yun yung nagpapasaya sa iyo kasi sa akin hindi lang hindi, I, parang i don't i don't feel happier kunyari meron na akong 43 inch na TV buying a, a 70 inch TV it doesn't add to my happiness eh pero kung ikaw yun yung nagpapasaya sa iyo tapos you buy it hindi ka naman uh hindi mo naman binili yun using money from illegal means hindi ka naman nangutang para doon may savings ka pa rin uh you you still maintain a healthy budget then then go for it uh, I, I I think I think that's fine also. Pero sa akin, yung yung technique ko lang is if I want to buy something na luho, I have to make sure that I have uh, enough cash na I, what I will do no, I'd multiply it by 10. For example, gusto ko bumili ng item na worth 1000 pesos. I want to make sure that I have the ability to buy 10 of that before I'll actually buy it. Kasi the problem also with Filipinos naman is if they want to buy something as in 10,000 yun laman ng bank account nila, may gusto silang bilhin ng 9,000 pesos, they will empty out their bank account to do it. Uh, f- for me, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. Siyempre, you need to maintain that healthy level of savings also and you need to maintain uh, that that budget uh, that that will also that will also protect you. So, yun, nothing wrong with buying stuff, but siguro people need to also check the motive on why they're buying it. If they're buying it lang just to, and and, and we all we always think na na nangyayari to pag, pag high school tayo pero it happens to a lot of people who are older that uh they buy stuff so that they they'll feel accepted na lahat ng kaibigan ko nakaganyan kailangan nakaganyan din ako lahat sila nag-upgrade na ng kotse nag-upgrade ka ng phone nakapunta na nakapunta na sa Europe kailangan nakapunta <laughs> Europe na rin ako so 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 things like that it's if you if people will write down all of their expenses and they they make an audit on their spending for the past 10 years magugulat sila that if majority of their spending came from things that hindi naman pala nila dapat gawin pero ginawa nila uh yun yun nakainayang pero if they did something naman that it made them feel alive it was something that excites them it brought them closer uh to to what where they want to be kahit gastos yun o- okay for me o- okay lang yun eh kasi yun din naman if there's one thing that this uh pandemic has taught us we only one have one life to live eh anin mo yung 1 billion pesos eh, kung hindi mo naman na enjoy yung pera mo anin mo yung uh, meron kang hundreds of millions kung yung yung sige gagawin ko to 20 10 years from now pag natapos ko na lahat na ipon ko na lahat ng gagawin ko eh you don't know eh kung buhay ka pa 10 15 20 years from now eh so it, it always there's ha- there always has to be a balance that hindi mo tinitipid sarili mo pero nagii-enjoy ka pa rin sa bu- nagii-enjoy ka pa rin sa buhay na while you're doing that you're still saving for the future uh tsaka hindi ka nalulubog sa utang so a- ako for me it's always about balance Right. So, mag-aral ng Excel. <laughs> so, now na, ano, during this pandemic, so many, the Pinoy's entrepreneurial spirit is really coming out, right? Parang minuto may bagong business. Mostly food. I don't know what other trends have you observed, not necessarily food or pointing food, about the opportunities arising based on the needs of people right now. Especially those that, like the when we talk about the new normal, this is the normal na di ba? Parang the old world of three months ago. Maybe the things that happened there don't apply anymore. What are some of the trends and opportunities that you think are worth considering or mm. worth I've, acting upon? I've been a fan of this even before the pandemic. Uh, I I really believe everything is here already. Uh, which which is uh. How, how do I put this? Which reflects also on how I would invest. I've been in, in the States, I've been investing a lot of, in tech stocks because I believe uh, tech is the future. And it's happening right now. Uh, we're using this platform, StreamYard, which is uh, streaming live on Facebook, which are all 
tech company. So either, number one, they develop the platform, the tech that people need, or they use that tech that that's, has been created to be able to either sell their product or service. So, an, ano lang naman yun eh, what, what, the, what tech would do is just really, for, for me, uh, it, it just feels a need or it just fixes a need. Like, for example, what did Zoom do? Zoom uh, fixed the need for people to be able to have conferences and meetings without being physically in the same room. Or they, they filled the need of, instead of having a conference of 5,000 people, you get to do it via via Zoom. So anything online, and this is, if you're talking about trends, this is what I, I think. Even after this, even after they find the cure uh, or a vaccine for this, uh, for the coronavirus, when when people see is na sobrang convenient pala mag-order ng groceries as dadalhin na lang sa condo namin, dadalhin na lang sa bahay namin, there will be a portion of people that won't stop doing that kahit tapos na yung pandemic. Or there will be businesses that will see that, teka, oh, work from home works pala eh. Kasi yung, yung employee ko, they're not st- stuck four hours in traffic, two hours coming, two hours going. They actually work more. I get they get to rest more, but they also get to work more because hindi sila pagod. It it might actually work. So just some ideas with that. A couple of things. And dami na dun palang. And dami na pwedeng ideas na mga tao. Because of work from home, you will expect that offices might not be as big as what it used to be. Because there might be offices that 100 ngayon kasi, since may work from home na. There might be 50 people na lang nandun, 50 na hindi naman kailangan pumasok uh, work from home na yun. So it will affect rent, it will affect a lot It will affect a lot of things sa mga offices. In the same way, because may work from home, people who are at home will try to be more comfortable. It means that they are there. You will see it naman eh. What's, what's selling in Lazada and Shopee, you will see what people actually needed. That's why one of the things that's being uh, sold a lot in Shopee and Lazada are yung mga office chairs na mahal kasi they're very comfortable. Uh, you will also see uh, people buying humidifiers, but things that make them comfortable since they're since they're at home. So things like that. Uh, and the technique, the technique there is there might be some items or some things that alam mo na hindi ko alam kasi mas exposed, mas exposed ka dun. So the technique is just find something na yung comp- I, I I'd call it a competitive edge that you have right. that, that, that other people don't have. And then you utilize that, you you ma- you maximize that. Like for example, sayo, sobrang sikat mo. That's why when you start uh, this, this, when you start this streaming, ano, people will watch it kagad because may isang sikat na tao na uh, oh may, may edge compared to other other people. So something like that. Kahit katitingal lang ng followers mo, nang, nang lilimus lang. <laughs> no, no, man, I, I just, ano. Then, then, oh, sige, if there are subscribers of mine watching this, kahit mag-unsubscribe na kay sa akin, lipat na lang kay dito. Grabe. Okay. Actually, uh, please tell them where you can be found on YouTube. And then you have, what about your seminars that were scheduled all over the world? Are they now converted to online? Uh, not not yet. Uh, it's it's postponed up until uh, we have clarity on it. Like for example, for Manila, we're just waiting for uh, the sign off of SMX on how we, how it will be. Because uh, we even asked some of them if they wanted uh, online, but majority still opted the classroom uh, setting. I think there are some there are some things that you can do online, but there are some things also that people like the the classroom interaction. So as of now. Uh, they, they were just moved to certain dates or until uh, everything gets uh, gets cleared also. Uh, yun, I, I, I have YouTube. That's it lang. Pa- parang awa nyo na, wala nagsusubscribe sa akin. So, uh, uh, <laughs> Dami so, kaya. So, so, uh, supportahan nyo. <laughs> Bigyan nyo pagkakataon ni isang taong hindi guwapo na, na, ano, na nagagawa ng videos. Kasi, kasi feeling ko, kung nag-podcast na lang kaya ako audio, hindi kita yung mukha ko baka mas makinig yung mga tao kasi hindi hindi wala akong wala akong liability pa sa mga sa mga nilikta the more nga na dumadami yung likes gumagawa po di ba <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what I, I've seen some of your very inspiring videos like uh, this woman who was one of ten children and then nagkasakit yung sister and then she saved and saved, and then hanggang ngayon yung mama na siya. So many inspiring stories. What's a common thread that you see? And are these are these uh, case studies your clients? I, 
depend what 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 video I can't remember na sa da- I have 1500 videos so I Ayun na nga sa dami. You have, you have to send me what video is it so I know <laughs> kung, kung kung sino siya doon. But uh what I enjoy no are are siguro what 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 makes YouTube also exciting is I get to interview a lot of people also. Uh, and if there's one common thing that's uh, so prevalent in the ones that really make it, it's the way they think. Uh, it's it's always about that. It's always about uh, people's mindset. That for I I created a playlist on YouTube. It's called Lockdown Learning, and uh, th- those are the videos that were created during lockdown. And those uh, entrepreneurs that were really really good at this time, they always they always see this as a as a time to thrive. They're not panicking. They're not. Uh, they're, hindi sila kinakabahan, hindi nila sinisisi, but ganito, ano ginawa ng China, bakit nangyayari to? It's always about, it's always about how you see the situation. Eh. Because if you, this is what I know, if you believe right, you will do right. If you believe right, you will also act right. You can only do that business or that investment or do this if tama yung pag-iisip mo. Eh. If you're always thinking that, Ah, wala mangyayari sa akin. Wala talaga mangyayari sa wala talaga mangyayari sa but if you're the person that there's you're thinking already that there's so much opportunity around, then talagang you will you you will find ways that even if it looks so bad, you will find an opportunity in that uh in that scenario. And that's I I think a common thread uh for everyone. And if you look at the ones that I've interviewed there also, they're always thinking paano ako makaka-pivot? Paano ako makaka-innovate? How do I do this? And they would always say also uh Ito yung negosyo ko ngayon eh, because this is what's needed right now. This is what's relevant right now. This is, kung, kung nandito ako, wala nang bibili sa akin. Wala nang bibili sa akin dito. I think above and beyond also the way they think it's the resilience. Right. That, that they don't let the circumstance uh, define who they are. But they allow what's inside of them define whatever their circumstance is. So According to Raymond Isa, Kembot King. So kailangan magaling ko mayambot. <laughs> <laughs> given the given the times i also saw a common thread parang they always have a sense of focus like that girl who came back to study law she lived in maryland and then she saved ah. so much money parang ikaw rin siya nag-save na hindi siya lumalabas once a week lang siya lalabas she subsisted on 50 dollars a week in the us mm. because her sense of focus for her goals was so razor sharp mm. na talagang she really disciplined herself. If, if, How do you acquire uh, that? Ano lang, it's, it's, for me, it's also doing the math. Eh, na, I'll, I'll tell this, kung single ka, the best thing that you can do is tumira ka muna sa bahay ng manggulang mo hanggat, 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 hanggat di ka nila pinapaalis. Siyempre kung pinapaalis ka nila, you, you, have to, you have to go already. Pero kung di ka naman nila pinapaalis, stay there first. If it's not naman if chepre there are ano no, there are uh, different scenarios na sobrang layo ng bahay mo sa office mo or sa business mo then it's better to to live close to where you work pero kung it's not a hassle uh, stay with your parents as, as as long as long as you can because it will save you a lot of uh, it will save you a lot of money and that that works eh. and habang nakatira ka doon if you're in your 20s or 20 mid 20s ka ngayon uh, take as much time to take as much risk already in business and investments. So, kasi yung mga nagagawa mong risk in your 20s or habang nakatira ka sa magulang mo, hindi mo siya magagawa pag 40 ka na, hindi mo siya magagawa pag 50 ka na, pag, may, pag ikaw na yung pinaka-soul breadwinner. There, there are things that you won't be able to do or at least your mindset would be different. Kasi ako, inisip ko at that time, I'll, I'll, I'll do all of these businesses kasi number one, may sweldo ako, number two, may ipon ako, number three, if all things fail, uh, kakain pa rin ako araw-araw kasi nakatira ako sa bahay na magulang ko. Hindi ko isipin yung meral ko. Hindi ko isipin yung water. So, yun. Don't waste the time that's available. Uh, because uh, I, 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 I would always say this to a lot of people. Money is not the most important asset. It's never money. It's never stocks. Time is. Because yung, yung perang nawala, nababalik eh. Pero yung oras na nawala, hindi mo na mababalik yun eh. That's why whenever people say the best time to invest is now, it really is. Because if you, every time you delay investing, it's something that you can never take back anymore. Right. And maybe follow Marvin so you can see kind of... Uh, a friend of mine also see Butch Villanueva. I don't know if you remember her. She said she just watched a YouTube video of yours and then ginaya lang daw niya kung paano ka mag-invest. 
parang nag-shadow lang siya. And then now, parang, parang okay yung mga investments. Is that something that you advise? Uh, actually, you know, if, if you, people watch the videos, I'd always tell them, uh, don't, don't invest in something just because I say it. I, I would always tell them they should do uh, their own due diligence because what works for me might not work for them. Eh. The risk that I'm willing to take might not be their risk appetite. Also, then, all, syempre, we also have different uh, different capital. We also have, kunyari, a 20-year-old versus a 40-year-old, iba dapat yung investments nila. Someone who also has a million versus someone who has 100,000, 100, iba rin yung approach on how they would segment their money. So the best thing that they can do is they watch the videos, but they get the logic, the principle behind it. They do their own diligence, then study, and then make it their own. And then that's where the magic happens also. So para sa akin, no one will take care of your money more than you. So hindi, hindi mo pwedeng iasa sa kaibigan mo, sa parents mo, sa taong na mo sa YouTube, yung finances mo, because uh, it has to be you. It has to be you who should take care and safeguard your finances. So do you actually, uh, when you say you're a financial advisor, do you actually invest money for people or you don't? No, I don't. I don't even say I'm a financial advisor. I, I, oh, you're I, not? I, I, I don't. No, no, I don't. I don't. I, 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 I only invest my own money. So uh, th this, whatever you see in in YouTube, ano lang, I do it because it's funny. It's, it's, it's masaya siya. So you're masaya just siya. sharing what you learn. Oh, masaya. Masaya siya. Tapos, if, if you get something extra from it, okay, okay, okay din siya. Pero, uh, I'll go back to the story that we we did at the start. I was doing this for my office mates. Linilibre lang nila ako ng lunch. Pero masayang masaya na ako nun eh. So, I, I think that's something that people really need to need need to do, no? And sa akin, it's, it's just this. Pero when people find out what they love to do, uh, it, it's not a cliche. Eh? You will never work a single day uh, in your life. Kahit ito, nung, 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 when you messaged me for this, never ko naman, never ko yun, ano, pag-isipan ko muna. And I, I said yes kagad kasi, ano eh, it's, it's something that I, I, I like. And ganun din, uh, if it helps other people. Actually, may kinancel pala ako para dito. Nalala ko oh na. Oh my God, thank you. <laughs> Di ba, nalala ko na. Nalala ko na. <laughs> but, hindi pala cancel. I just moved something for you. But, but, but yun eh, if, if it's something that you like, you don't, it's, it, you don't have to drag yourself every day to get up because nag enjoy ka. And I think people have to find that also. Uh, and of course, just to be practical, syempre, sometimes what you love to do is not something that earns for you. So what what you do is this is what this is what passion is. People always say that uh, passion is you doing what you love. Have you heard, have you heard that? Yes, have you heard yeah. that? But sometimes passion is also doing something that you don't like first, so that you get to do what you love. Eh? People always. Uh, I just posted this on Facebook. Uh, people always like the price, but they don't like the cost to get that price. People always like, uh, people always like financial freedom, but they don't like to get the hardships attached to it. Because uh, just to be super practical, also to a lot of people, uh, it's not easy. Eh? Because if it's so easy, then everyone would be financially free. Eh? It's something that uh, you have to be. Tamang sabi mo kanina siguro you have to be focused. You have to be intentional about it because. Uh, it's something that you have to roll up your sleeve to do. It's something that you ha you're doing something that's uh, opposite to what everyone else is doing. Meaning, I'll go back to the story when we were, when, kanina, when all of my friends were buying coffee, when everyone was buying this gadget, everyone was uh, traveling. It's, it's sacrificing uh, short-term wants to be able to have something that you want pero sustainable siya for the long term. So, yeah. Right. Something also I observed in, I didn't watch all your 1,500 videos, <laughs> but I saw a few where you always approach like the tie pants, the big shots. You're not afraid to say, boss, is a pang tip, one more tip. Diba? <laughs> Parang you're really confident and brave enough. And I think that's something that, Pinoy's need to develop also because if you're gonna be entrepreneurial, you'll need to have a lot of, diba, a lot of gall to just approach people and ask them. And parang you've also conveyed that they're not they're also generous about sharing tips, diba, All these billionaires. <laughs> uh, ako yun lang yung 
yun lang yung baon ko eh. Kapal lang ng mukha talaga. Kasi, uh, this is what this is what I know. Uh, if you don't try, you will never know eh. So ako, I'd rather try and fail. At least, I already know the result than pagdating ko ng 80 years old, I would regret not trying it at all. So, right. so, so, yun lang. That's just my mentality in everything. Just to try it, do it. If it, if, yun, I'll, I'll, I'll say this also. Uh, we, we've lived in such a society and we're, syempre, it's what we've learned from school, eh, na kung nagkamali ka, if you fail, it's, it's the end of it, you're wrong, hindi ka magaling. But that's not true, eh. If there's one thing that you saw from all of those good business people that were in the channel also, they all made mistakes, eh. So, is that mistake, is, will that mistake destroy you or you will see that mistake as a lesson? Because if there's one thing that's true, you may fail, but it doesn't mean you're a failure. Failing allows you to be able to pivot. And we've been hardwired na, kaya madami tao hindi nagbibusiness, madami tao hindi nag invest because they're so scared of failing. What, but what they don't realize, si Henry C., si Gokong Wei, nagkamali yan. Jollibee, nagkamali yan. They all had their share of mistakes. Eh. But every time they would make their mistakes, they would always try to find a way to pivot, bounce back from, from it. So... Yep. Ako, ganun lang din ako. I'm, I'm okay to make mistakes. And I, I'm, then I'll just figure it out uh, along the way. Yeah. Right. And what's the best thing you learned from these billionaires and taipans besides what you said, don't be afraid to fail? And from whom, if you can still recall? Actually, from you, eh. The best, this is the highlight from now. From, oh, this is the highlight now of my 2020. <laughs> itong, 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 itong stream na to. Feeling ko, everything Run, else yeah. is, is, ano na, is, uh, is 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 going down na is going down na is going down na after this na uh, top of mind no uh, video with Manny Pangilinan then nagkwento siya sabi niya uh, his technique daw was every time he gets money hinihiwalay niya into different uh, into different accounts while he was saying that ganun, sabi ko ganun din yung ginagawa ko ah. because his mentality is hatiin ko siya into different accounts so that it looks small. So that if it looks small, he wouldn't think he's rich. So that if it looks small, he will work harder pa. Kasi the problem sometimes with a lot of Filipinos, nasa isang bank account lahat. So pag nasa isang bank account, parang feeling mo, ah, madami pa yan. Hindi maubos yan. Uh, ano yan, pag may sale, parang if I have 500,000 in my account, what's 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 spending 20,000 for 80 pa siya? Pero what if instead of having one account na 500,000, have... 10 separate accounts or buckets or folders, whatever you want to, to name it or do with it, na 50,000 na lang siya. So 50,000, parang, it looks small. Ah. So you would think twice also if you would spend. So while he was saying it, sabi ko, ganyan din ako, ah. ganyan ako mag-isip, as in promise, ganyan, ah, ako every, uh, when I was starting out, naka when, when we would hear videos about envelope system, ginagawa ko yun, naka-envelope lahat, may, may pera ako pang haircut, may pera ako pang kape, may pera ako pang kain, may pera ako pang damit. I would literally segregate everything so that, uh, yun din, same mentality na I wouldn't feel rich. Ako yeah. rin may mga envelopes, pero parang... Pero sobrang yaman, sobrang yaman naman. Iba eh, so okay. yung nangyari, hindi pareho tayo ng ending. Here's a question from Aldrin Pashon. What do you suggest for OFWs and normal employees that get salary cuts? Frugal na sila, have to send money for child support, pay house amortization. Savings are there, but can they still invest? Uh, of course, of course, they, it, it's not it, it's not a question whether they is it okay to invest. They have to, because as what we talked about earlier, it's about building uh, different streams of income. It's about building another asset class for you. So if you think kulang, cool I, I I would invest more, I would save more, then I would do more uh, side businesses to generate more income also. So, kasi sometimes, the biggest the biggest mistake also is, may trabaho ko, and then they settle for, sige, naka-invest na ako eh. Pero they don't see that there's opportunity on, on their free time, on their weekends, to generate extra money. So, ganun, kung sinasabi nilang, sinasabi nilang walang opportunity, walang ways to make money, what you do, on 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock after your job will define also how rich you are. Eh. If you're watching puro TikTok videos ng 9 o'clock and then you're saying there's no opportunity around, I will beg to differ. Because uh, if what you feed 
inside of you will determine also what you think. Eh. So if you're always feeding yourself with something that's not uh, connected to will help you grow financially, then talaga wala ka talaga makita ng opportunity. So what do you do from 8 to 12? Uh, <laughs> At ngayon, <laughs> ngayon, 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 oh, I play, I, ano tang, this is something that I, I've learned during the lockdown. I've been playing video games. <laughs> I've been wow! Playing... <laughs> so, how pa rin pala? <laughs> Kasi, ano rin, di ako naglalaro dati, as in, uh, yan ang delayed the... gratification, 36 yeah. years delayed. Then, so, the, so, oh, the, so I, I played, so I, I don't know if there are people who are my age, I, I've playing, I'm playing a game called StarCraft. It's something that I was playing when I was in high school pa. So the I played it 90, 1998. So naglaro ulit ako after 22 years. So ganun kalaking, ganun kalaking gap. Finally, uh, you allowed yourself to play. So, so what... And then and, and I, I think there's nothing to do din kasi as in... Uh, just to frame everything, no. If if I'm if if you are at a point na tingin mo kailangan mo pa ng extra income or you have to uh, earn more, don't don't play. Uh, don't watch that TikTok vid. Don't watch that TikTok. Uh, don't watch that TikTok videos. Kasi baka baka may may makapanood to. Oh, si Marvin naglalaro. Laro na rin din ako. So so yun. There has to always be a balance. I'm just saying that to people that if you have big dreams, you want to get this. You have to let your dreams. You have to let your amount of work match the amount of dreams that you have also. So, so for uh, instance, I know before nung 20s mo, sabi 20s, mo nga, 20s pa rin ako, 20s pa rin ako. Ah, okay, okay. Nung uh, younger years, uh, you did everything na sideline from buy soft drinks and sell them to conventions. Ano pa yung mga example nung mga opportunities na naamoy-amoy mo, no matter how small, Pinalala. Nalala mo pa rin yun. Tagal na rin na. Uh, Siyempre naman. Lahat eh. Kasi I would sell sh- as, as as basic as this. I would sell t-shirts to my office mates. I would sell food to my to my office mates. Uh, uh, for for me din kasi it's it's the enjoyment of being able to create something. Being able to earn something just by being uh, being resourceful. So uh, I'll give you an example. Even when I was in college, uh, di ba sa college nung, nung time natin na Xerox Xerox pa noon hindi ko na alam kung paano yung ginag paano <laughs> paano na ngayon pag, pag, pag may hand pag may handouts yung teacher di ba pinapa Xerox niya yun uh-huh. So, uh-huh. so there would always be one person in the class that will Xerox it for everyone and then, then the, class would, the, the class would give money to that to that person so to give you an example I, I can't remember what the Xerox rate was if it was 50 cents or 1 peso so for example 10 pages sapo na lang piso 10 pesos, something like that, diba? So, kasi that's the, that's the normal rate. So, I would always do it. Kasi nasa harapan ako na ako po, I would be assigned to it. Then I figured out na, what if maghanap ako ng wholesale? I would get, I would get extra earnings pa from it. So, you just have, yun, it's, 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 it's the, it's the hunt, it's the chase of being able to create something, to be able to, to be resourceful and earn something. Or, or ganun lang and, and for me it's not it's not just about the monetary amount that you get from it but yung yung fi- siguro ano dahil wala akong sports yun yung yun yung sport ko that uh to try something and then to see that it actually works yun 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 yung, yun yung masaya for me money money triathlon pala Parang, you know? how far can this amount go i've also often heard from billionaires that it's not actually the amount that they get a thrill from but multiplying the amount. You also tsaka, go ahead. Tsaka hindi lang yun eh kasi uh, people have to realize this. Uh yung kunyari may 1 billion ka, tsaka may 2 billion ka, yung nabibili ng 1 billion, kung may, yung nabibili ng 1 billion, yung rin nabibili ng 2 billion, kung may 500 million ka mabibili mo rin yung mga nabibili na may 1 billion eh. Pero why 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 does go kung why why does uh Henry see when they were still alive? Bakit nung billionaire sila? Bakit pa rin sila nag-business? Because you have to realize it that they're not really in it for the money. They're in it because they're really entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs don't do business for the money. They do they do it because they they just like they also enjoy doing it. They uh, they like the feeling of uh multiplying what they have. Kasi I'll give you another example. Uh, Edgar Garcia in Japsia, Mang Inasal, selling 70% of Mang Inasal, he got 3 billion pesos. 3 billion pesos lagay mo sa time deposit yun. 
uh, buhay ka na forever nun, hindi, hindi ka na magugutom, assuming hindi ka magsugal, hindi mo uh, waldasin yung pera ng mali, pero buhay ka na nun. Pero what did he do with the money? He got the money, he started another business because uh, entrepreneurs are, real entrepreneurs are not just in it for the money, they're in it because it's it's the game, it's something that's also fun to do. So what's next on your game or on your plate? Ano pa yung uh, mga dreams mo na gusto mong gawin? Well, na, tatigil na lahat ng pangarap ko nung napakasalang ko <laughs> ko eh. So wala na akong, <laughs> oh, yun na yung parang, oh, kung hindi ka gwapo tapos may nagmahal sa'yo, parang okay, okay na eh. Okay, okay na. Nabasa ko nga yung pinost mo eh. Parang, ano ba yun? <laughs> Tip for a happy marriage ba? Hmm. Let her, ano na nga? <laughs> but you did mention before that, the partner you choose in life has a lot of bearing in the kind of financial health that you will have in the future. Mm, mm. Yeah, of, of course. Uh, especially if uh, yung, yung values sa pera magkaiba. Uh-oh. So I, I think there's a lot of uh, away na nangyayari from that also. So uh, it's, 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 it would be ideal to choose correctly. <laughs> so she's like you, matipid din siya. Ah, uh, oh, let's, no. let's, let's, <laughs> let's 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 put it this. I I do the budget sa bahay. So what what whatever the budget that gets assigned. Ano naman? Uh, na, na susunod naman. Na susunod naman siya. Na fa follow. Na fa follow through. So okay naman, yeah. <laughs> so what's your uh, parting advice for everybody now who's been hardly hard hit by all that's happening, lots of jobless people, people like scrambling for whatever means to support themselves. So what's your parting advice? Subscribe to this, your channel. <laughs> watch, watch videos here, however often it comes out, you watch. Kasi feeling ko madami kayo mapupulo dito. Guys, to everyone watching this, uh, this is the lowest point of uh, of, of this show. No? Everything, whoever she invites <laughs> after. Yun yung, yun yung pinaka the best Hello, na- I chose to launch with you nga. Kasi ikaw yung pinaka-importanting guest. <laughs> kasi this is the lowest that you will ever be. But... I worked around your schedule nga. Para ikaw yung number one. <laughs> but uh, actually subscribe to Marvin. That's number one that number one step that you should take. Siguro ano. And I, I've been saying this over the past videos also uh, in, in YouTube. Uh, that uh, never lose hope. Because and dami, daming, daming malungkot ngayon eh. So, if you lose hope already, you lose something uh, to live for, or you, you think that wala nang silbe yung kailangan gawin, uh, you won't be able to craft your plans properly also. Uh, I, I think that's that's something that's very, very important. Uh, wag, wag, mapal, wag mawala ng pag-asa kasi uh, if buhay ka pa, may reason bakit buhay ka pa. And ano eh, I, I would always say this, even in the videos, that uh, if you think it's so bad right now, then it's not yet the end because your ending will always be good. That's why you work your ass off. You work so hard. To, to, if it you work so hard ha, na ikaw magpaganda ng situation mo, ikaw magpaganda ng nangyayari around, uh, don't wait for the economy to get better, don't wait for the government to get better, don't wait wait for the situation to get better. You work so hard that it gets better out of the work ethic that you, work ethic that you have. Uh, and yun, uh, don't, don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Follow this channel uh, every every week, to, no? Every week. <laughs> every so, Wednesday. Every Wednesday. So, yeah. And just to just to recap uh, Marvin's advice, first thing you can do is sell the things that don't add value to your life. Double down on your skills. Take an honest look at what you're good at. Add side hustles. Tweak your services and business to what's relevant today. Look at the opportunities that are happening around you. Focus and prioritize on your financial goals. Actually sit down and lay it all out. When you're doing something that you like, you'll realize that you don't need to buy stuff to make you happy or escape from your life. Have multiple streams of income. Compute your spendings versus your savings. And uh, for example, compute how many years will I last without my day job? And I think the first step is really to sit down with a pen and paper or an Excel sheet and 
compute the lay of the land of your financial well-being. <laughs> Pero ano, just to just to clarify, uh, guys, don't sell your mother-in-law. Kasi sabi mo, don't sell. <laughs> diba, di mo sabi dyan, oh, pwede ba yung mother-in-law? Grabe! <laughs> Mahalin ng mother-in-law, okay? So, ano, esen- essential yan, essential. Actually, kung doon ka nakatira. <laughs> essential. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marvin. Thank you for honoring us with being guest number one for Ask Ms. Mears. We learned a lot. And mm. I think we will all continue to learn a lot from you. Thank you! Ciao. Tsaka masaya ako minsan lang na may sobrang yaman na nag-invite sa akin. So, Hindi nga, actually. Very, very, I'm very honored. Alam mo yung sound effect na, yun, so magkoconsult pa ako sa'yo. Thank you, Marvin! Hello? Hello, oh, can you hear me? Yeah, okay. I don't know what happened. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. For honoring yeah, us thank you, thank you. your presence. Thank you. I, I had fun. Thank you so much. I had fun too. Thank you. This has been Ask Miss Mears. Uh, thank you so much. Pardon all the snafus for <laughs> the first episode. And I'd like to thank the following people. Thank you to Raymond Isaac, Jason Vicente, Celise Mitra, and Graphic Giraffe. So that's it for today. I'll see you next Wednesday on Ask Miss Mears and see you on TikTok Monday and Friday. This has been Mirza. <laughs> Bye. Thank you so much. See you soon.